uh, our program to sh show how we uh, as uh, calculate the recipe for uh, restriction <coughs> enzyme digestion lab. So first we uh, need to uh, find out a way to dilute the DNA into the proper concentration. So this is, uh, I have uh, one uh, group of uh, uh, student uh, data here in nanogram per micro uh, liter. And so those maybe, uh, I, I just let, so those concentration I call this one is AG17, that one AG412, the last one is uh, unknown mutant. This number should be changing for every group. Right, so we select that and run. Once you do that, you will see the basically stock concentration will be there. Right, so at the bottom, you will see the stock concentration. And according to the protocol, you want to have a, a diluted DNA in 12 microliter. So click run. And your final concentration is 100 nanogram per microliter. So in a way, we know C2, V1, V2, well, C1, V1 equals C2, V2. Now, we know C2 uh, is, is now, and so the, this is basically your C2, and the top is basically your V2. And those basically your your C one, right? So at the so you, we want to figure out how what's the V one for every uh, DNA solution here. That's the uh, basically general strategy. So we know the final solution of DNA you are going to dilute it to is twelve microliter, and the concentration is C two. So there, C two V two we have it there, and then C one that's from your own notebook. Everyone should have notebook written, uh, written this down. In fact, you submit it to Moodle. Right, so we need to find out the V1. So there is basically this one. So DNA dilution total, that's basically C2V2 divided by uh, C1, and that's your uh, solution. And the after you do this, and <coughs> now when you, after you do this, the volume, the, the the V1 you will find out is very accurate, but there's no way you can use pipette to pipette that kind of a decimal level. So we need to run those number to, to a reasonable uh, number you can operate. So after you run it, you will see the number, I, I run the number to two decimal points. That's actually still more accurate than you actually do, but at least it's reasonable now. So, okay, then, that's your V1. Uh, we know the total volume is 12 microliters, so we just need to find out how, how much is remaining for the water. So, and the water basically is your total volume minus the DNA volume. So then, that's it. So by now I have all those lines, I have calculated all the recipe. I just need to generate a report. So the way to generate a report in R is something called data frame is basically like excel spreadsheet so i just uh, this is c c band we used it before just combine all the data by column if you imagine in excel there are columns we just put them all together put into one uh, uh, spreadsheet so that's basically this line of code does we highlight this line click around and then just to double check, I also calculate the total volume. And then uh, after this, if, if you want to highlight this line and just look at the curve. Oh, that's the total volume, sorry. Uh, look at the recipe, it's there, that's the recipe. But we, we normally look this the other way. So I turn it around and turn, after you turn, Turn around, you will look at uh, this is basically your recipe. So that's your DNA uh, stock concentration, and that's how much you took. You are going to take from the, the stock, and then add how much water. The total volume should be 12 at the bottom. Okay, now here's a, a new trick. Uh, 
I haven't told you. You can output your result to a file. And this actually can be done by something called write.csv. Uh, the CSV is a format for Excel. So I just, the result now is in dilution recipe. And that's the file name. So after you run this, a file should be written to your computer. And then you can double click. Let me see. In my case, let's see. Yeah, that's my uh, file just being outputted. And if I let me double click on that, it should pop, it should go to Excel. Yeah, it go to Excel. Uh, it used my uh, computer very slow. Well, that's the. Uh, report so uh, you can double check with the manual calculation so well after that uh, you need to also th this is how you dilute the DNA into 100 nanogram per microliter after that you need to set up a, a restricted enzyme digestion uh, reaction so this is also uh, uh, for the based on your protocol uh, so we have the total volume is 20 microliters. That's the, uh, again, I'm going to name those uh, uh, total volume as the, uh, so, so the total volume will be a, uh, 20 microliters, AG17, AG412, and your mutant. Now, the enzyme, according to our protocol, we say the final concentration of enzyme is 5% of its stock. So basically, that's, that so the you, you just the total volume times five percent that's basically how much you need for the enzyme and that's for xp one the same thing for APA one so and then we know the buffer is ten times concentrated uh, so and that since on the total volume is twenty and how much we need from the 10 times concentration just divided by the 10. So that's how much we need for buffer. Now how much we need for the DNA, and the protocol asking for uh, 500 nanogram DNA, right? And so basically the, the amount divided by your dilute, uh, diluted DNA concentration, that's the volume. Uh, I publish this probably should rename it diluted concentration. Uh, anyhow, and then what's remaining will be the water. Right? Just minus, uh, everything should add up to 20 microliter. That should be a water. And then I use the same trick again, put everything, column, put them together, put into data frame. And then, yeah, uh, so just to double check, I'm going to sum up every column. There, that's my recipe. Got the field code. Can you double check with my thing mm -hmm. Just that's why you work as a group, making sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So well, it looks like the people doesn't look li doesn't like to read the vertically. Uh, so I'm going to turn it around again. So turn it around. It's time. Well. This is mo mostly, uh, we, we like to write it in different ways, that's, that's all. <laughs> so buffer, water, do you like this is the order to be the other sample? It, should this be the order the other sample? Yeah, I don't know, it's, you can, you probably, you, you decide. Uh. Oh. Uh, it's already too much. It's already. Uh, yeah, well that's correct. Mm -hmm. It is enough for for three reactions. I see. So all they gotta do. Is I see. So well, uh, Dr. Kirko would like to ask you to add everything in a master mixer and then spread them out. So the the way he, he wants you to do is you have the uh, the DNA. So you have to remove the DNA. Everything else are the same. Yes. So in this this row yeah. volume of water in our table that mm -hmm. um, you kind of gave us some calculations um, in the box and it says for the volume of water mm -hmm. twenty minus all the other numbers in this column because twenty would be the volume of mass mixture per reaction. But I got that as sixteen if you subtract two one one from twenty. That'd be twenty minus. 
Your DNA is already 5 microliter, your total volume is 20. Master mix. For master mix, you basically have to add everything except the DNA. That means the what well, there are three reactions, right? So, but usually uh, you want to do a little bit more. So let them do. Uh, so let you do uh, three point five. What? Enough. Enough for four. Okay. So I see. So. So then that means master mix volume is is number of times uh recipe Let me see. Let me do one. Oh. 